no es el agregado el LAD, ¿verdad? That's correct. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. How are you, teacher? I'm good. How about you? Llegó. Llegó oh, el Eli. Y el Eli, te, te nos estás yendo del grupo. Okay. Mucho, mucho trabajo. Excuse me. Very fast, va a decir ya. Very fast. <laughs> Very <laughs> fast. Uh, sí. Oh, my God. But let me ask you, how was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día, clase? Was it good, Very bad? Good. Yeah. How do you say ajetreado? Busy. Busy day. Busy day. Mm -hmm. My day is busy day. It was busy. My day, day was. Was. Mm -hmm. Very was busy. busy. Very busy. Very busy. Okay. Right. But let me go. My day is tired. Really? Yeah, I can say the same. A very busy day. You know, I always have from Monday to Saturday, very busy days. The only day that I can say that is a little bit, um, you know, in which I can distress is on Sunday. But the rest of the week, I need to work from... 7 up to 10 p.m., right? So that is my schedule. This is my horario. But here we Sunday. are. Yes, on Saturday as well. On Saturday as well. Imagine, because I have, a, I'm taking some courses. Estoy tomando unos cursos el sábado. So, yes, I need to not be working, but taking some classes as well. Class, I need to see you. Cameras on. <laughs> Cameras on, I'm still missing Pablo, Kimberly, Marina, and Stephanie. Zaira. Okay, and Stephanie, thank you. Rebecca, Iris, Herson. Cameras on, please. Cameras encendido. Remember, this is one of the rules from the class. I need to see your cameras on. Very good. Thank you. Yo voy manejando todavía para mi casa. Ok. Eh, pero cuando lleguen, enciendo. Ok, thank you. Ok, only Ana, Pablo, en Marina me han justificado cámara apagada. Los demás, I need to see you. Please. Here we go. Class. 20 students right now. We are still missing some students. So let's uh, give them like two or three minutes so we can check the attendance list. Let's start right now. Let me ask you, do you remember what were we practicing yesterday? We were watching a video. We were working in groups with an exercise. What was this exercise about? Do you remember the vocabulary that we were using yesterday? Yes or no? Preposition. Oh, preposition. Preposition. Place. preposition. And we have Place. five different prepositions. Do you remember the prepositions? Yes. On, 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 on the, the corner, corner across the ground, across next the ground, to, and between two. Okay, excellent. Very good job. So we were using prepositions to talk about places in town. So in today's class, we are going to finish with section number three, but we still have some vocabulary that we need to practice, okay? So prepositions of place. I leave the main street. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when we talk about streets and avenues, what are we going to use? What preposition are we going to use? On. Um. On. Um. Very good. So, please don't forget about that. On. Let's see. Now we are going to continue talking about the same topic, similar exercise. 
and we are going to listen to a conversation. You know, it is always important to take a look at the videos, go and watch the videos class. Sé que algunos tal vez en la clase los vemos los videos, but go and watch the videos again after the class or you can watch the videos before the class so you can have an idea about the topics that we are going to cover in the class. Look at this one. Let's watch this video. It's about giving directions. But let's watch, veamos los objetivos. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and give directions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So that is the goal for this class. And here we have a conversation that we are going to practice today. Here we go. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Okay, before we continue with the explanation, take a look at this picture. What are they talking about? Is it far from here? What is the meaning of this question? Is it far from here? What is the meaning of the question? Está lejos de aquí. Ah, exactly. So, take a look at these stories or this guy, what's going on with this tourist? He needs help, he needs help. So he's asking a woman about some places in town. Tell me, Aleli. Teacher, por qué en lugar de decir Mrs. dice ma'am? Oh, because that is a Formal expression, very formal expression in English. Ma'am, okay, ma'am. Nunca, nunca había escuchado y really? aparentemente se, se, se confundiría con decir ma'am de hombre. Ah, but it's a little bit longer. The pronunciation is longer. Es más larga. Ma'am, ma'am, exactly. Ma'am. Esto es señora, es señora. Pero Can muy formal, muy, muy formal. Man. ¿Es como más respetuoso? Es más respetuoso. Of course, totally. Ok. Ma so, excuse, excuse me, me. ma'am. Ma'am, mm -hmm. can you help me? Can you help me? How do me? I get to, take a look at this expression. How do I How get? do I get? get? How do I, okay. how how do do I, I get? get? Do you remember? ¿Se acuerdan que en el vocabulario de medicina también teníamos este verbo, get? Cuando tomábamos alguna medicina decíamos get. Get obtener. some pills, obtener. Ah, mismo verbo, diferente significado. ¿Qué significa en este contexto? How do I get? How do I get? Yeah. Es oh, como ir, 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 llegar, exactly, imagine, this is English, les decía, busquen el verbo get, y tiene demasiado significado, so, how do I get to St. Patrick's, St. Patrick's Cathedral. Cathedral, how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral, 
Okay, okay. and look at the instructions. She is helping and giving some instructions. First instruction, just walk up Fifth Avenue to Fifth Street. Okay, this is the first instruction. Walk up. This is the first instruction. Then the third is he is asking another question. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across. Look at the other expression. Right across from. Otra expresión para dar direcciones. Right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? Look at this expression. It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Where is the Empire State Building? I want to start because Empire State Building in this picture. And just a turn around and look up. Exactly, it's just right behind you. Mira esa expresión. Turn around and look turn up. Around. So this is extra vocabulary. Yesterday we were just practicing prepositions. But these are very useful expressions when we talk about um, directions. Walk up, right across from. Turn around, look up. So this is extra vocabulary that we have. Let's continue. Then look up. Okay. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give right. directions. Okay. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or, how can I get to, then we mention a place. Okay, let's stop here. How do we ask? Okay, we need to ask someone for help. We have two different ways of making this type of questions. How do I get to San Salvador? And how can I get to San Miguel, you know? So, it's a very similar expression. It, there's no like different. If you want, you can use get. Do I get? Or if you want, you can use how can I get? There's like no difference between those expressions. Let's continue. For answers, walk up, go up, walk down, go down. Turn left on, turn right on, on the right, on the left. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Now, let's try to analyze the expressions. Walk up or go up. The first thing we want to do when giving directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? Let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up Fifth Avenue or go up Fifth Avenue. Okay. Now let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street and Madison Avenue. 
and we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be, how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Okay, this is, well, he's talking about just some examples. But if you want, let's go to the practice. Creo que para que no se nos acabe el tiempo tan rápido, vámonos a la práctica. But before, I need to check the attendance list. So please say here or present. Here we go. Aquí vamos, chicos. Let me see. Okay, let me go. Okay, here we go. And the first one that I have in my list is Aleli Concepcion. Present teacher. Bien, aquí vamos. Present, excellent. Anna Stephanie. Present. Cesar Alexander. Present teacher. Elvis Aníbal. Present teacher. Fernando Arturo. Present. Gerson Vladimir. Present. Gladys Elizabeth. Present teacher. Iris Elena. Present teacher. Tell me. Okay. Jessica. Jessica Marielos. Present teacher. Irma Raquel. Present teacher. Great. Josué Neftalí. I'm here. Great. Maria Lucila. I'm here. Great. Marina del Carmen. I'm here. Nurian Karina. <clears throat> okay, Nelson Rolando. Very good. Pablo Reyes. Present teacher, aprovecho para decirle que tengo algunos problemas con el internet. Ok, gracias. Me conecto y me desconecto, perdón. Sí. Yes, ok. Rebeca Eunice. Present. Rosemary Beatriz. Present teacher. Roxana Beatriz. Present teacher. Sonia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Walter Alexander. Present. Wilson Alejandro. Wilson. No. Jessica Marilu. And Zaira Yamilet. Present. Great. So this is the attendance list. Class, we need to practice right now giving or asking for directions, you know? So in this case, we are going to use preposition of place and also we are going to use expressions, very helpful expressions in English. So let me show you. Les muestro ahorita lo que vamos a hacer. We are going to practice giving direction. Remember, you need to write, write it down, the vocabulary in your notebook so you cannot forget about the vocabulary. It is very useful to practice, practice and practice. So, in the video, we have this vocabulary. Look. Okay, Kimberly. 
don't worry. This is the vocabulary that we were practicing in the video. It's about directions. So remember, if you want to ask for help, if you need some help, you can ask, how do I get to, and then you mention the place. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? How do I get to uh, Santa Tecla? How do I get to Santa Ana, for example? Or you can also use these questions. How can I get to, and then you mention the place. How can I get to New York Public Library? This is when we ask for help. And there are some other expressions that we can use in order to give an answer. Walk up and go up, they have the same meaning, okay? So we can express the same idea in different words. Walk down and go down, they have the same meaning in different words. Turn left on. What is the opposite of turn left? ¿Cuál es lo opuesto a turn left? ¿Cuál sería? Turn right. Turn, turn right. right, very good. Turn right. Y si se fijan, utilizamos la preposición on. Why? Because we are talking about street. Mm -hmm. Turn left on, turn right on. Gira, it says girar, or we can also say it's on the right, it's on the left. Está a la derecha, está a la izquierda. So these are the expressions, okay? Let's practice, let's practice, okay? Let's read them. Number one, leamos las clases. How do I get to? How do I get to? Let's repeat this. How how do, How, I get I get get How do I get to? How can I get to? How can I get to? Very good job. How do I get? How can I get? Okay, let's continue. Walk to. up. Go up. Go up. Walk up. Go up. Go up. Go up. One more time. Walk up. Walk up. 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 Estoy escuchando up. walk. Um, it's not walk. Quitemos walk. esa L. Walk. Bien. Walk. Up. Walk. Walk. Up. Walk. Up. Se escribe up. así, pero se pronuncia así. Walk. 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 Up. Up. Go up. Walk. Up. up. Walk up. up. Walk up. Walk, Walk up. Down. Up. Walk up. Walk up. Down. down. Very good class. Muy bien la pronunciación. Let's continue. Turn left on. Repeat. Turn, Turn left, left, on. left on. Turn right on. Turn right on. Turn right on. Right right on. on. It's uh, on the right. right on. It's on the right. It's on the left. It's on the left. Very good job. So let's go to the exercise so we can practice right now. Look, okay. what do I have here? This is a very interesting example because we have a conversation. We have two people talking, you know. ¿Quiénes están hablando en la conversación? Cole and the other girl. Jenna. And Jenna, Jenna okay. and you. Uh -huh. Cole and Jenna. But what's going on? ¿Qué pasa entonces? Jenna doesn't know Manhattan. Jenna doesn't know Manhattan. So what are we going to do? We need to correct Jenna's directions. Ella está dando 
direcciones, pero no conoce el lugar. So, what do we need to do? We are going to write the opposite of what she says. Tenemos que corregir. Demos lo opuesto, la información opuesta. Take a look at the example. Because you are going to work with exercise number two, three, and four. Here we go. How do I get to Washington Square Park? How do I get to Washington Square Park? Ah, uh, listen to Jenna. Walk up Fifth Avenue. ¿Qué es la indicación que le está diciendo? Walk up Fifth Avenue. So what is the opposite? Que es lo opuesto entonces a walk up. What is the opposite? Walk. Good. Walk down. Walk, walk down. 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 Exactly. So, look. ¿Cómo corregimos? No. Don't walk up Fifth Avenue. Walk down Fifth Avenue. ¿Cómo vamos a corregir? Primero decimos la negación. No. Don't walk up Fifth Avenue. Luego la corrección. Walk down Fifth Avenue. Let me ask you, class, is this exercise clear? Is it clear what we are going to do right now? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, está claro lo que vamos a hacer? Yes. Sí. Sí, yes. No, no del todo. Okay, that's why I'm asking. No del todo. Por eso les pregunto. Bien, let me repeat the information. Don't worry. Here we go. Here we go again. What are we going to do? If you notice, we have four different parts of a conversation. Cuatro partes de una conversación. Between Paul and Jenna. Mira, ellos dos están conversando. Paul and Jenna. Paul, maybe he is a tourist. And he is asking for help. But what is the problem? Jenna doesn't know Manhattan. That is the problem. Teacher, ¿dónde se encuentra esa conversación? It's in your book, you know. It's in su libro. This is in your book. But these are like extra exercises. Son ejercicios extras que vienen casi al final del libro. Ahí vienen. No sé si todos han impreso esta parte. Y es Marina. Eh, yo entendí que hay que decir lo opuesto a lo que dice llena. Por ejemplo, en el segundo ejemplo dice turn right on. Eh, no me recuerdo cómo se dice 30. Ajá. Street. How do you say 30 seconds? 30 seconds. Entonces sería. No, don, don, no. right. On 32nd Street. On 32nd Street. Turn. Y luego afirmar que se iría a turn left. Bien, clase. Como Jenna no conoce Manhattan, tenemos que corregirla. Miren, la primera corrección es. No, don't walk Fifth Avenue. Porque ella lo primero que le dijo es walk up Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue. No, no es lo correcto. Luego ustedes escriben la información correcta, que es walk down. That is the correct one. En vez de ir para arriba, tenemos que bajar. Walk down. So now, is it clear? Si no, voy a estar ahí ayudándoles en sus grupos. I'm going to send this picture to WhatsApp. You can also look the same information in your student's book. So, here we go. Let me send this picture. Okay. We are going to work in groups. Here we go. Okay, here we go.
Very good. I'm just missing. Let me see Walter. Vamos a poner a Walter and Gladys in the same room. Okay. Not turn. Not Seria. Seria not. Not, not turn uh, right on. Not turn right. Not, not turn right on. 30 seconds. Straight. Okay. Seria. Turn left on 30 seconds. Straight. Let's see, right? Okay. Seria turn turn left seria turn left uh -huh. turn left pero lo primero sería sería lo que habíamos dicho no turn like no turn right turn right sí ese es el primero no, no turn, turn right on right on the the second no turn second. right on thirty second Straight. Así es. Y sería turn left. Turn left on uh -huh. on thirty thirty second. Turn left on on street. Second second street. On street. En el, no he visto. Street. Vale, sí, Marina lo dio. <laughs> so, Marina, the other Seria, how, how do I get the brain? Seria, no. From Rockefeller Center. Go down. No, no, go down. Ahí sería no, no, go down. We said the turn left. The turn the left. The turn on left. 30 second street. On 30 second street. Hi, Is correct, teacher? Teacher, se fue una de, la, de las miembros que estaban con nosotros. Oye, se firma. Ajá, a saber, ah, creo que sí. Se Sal, salió expulsada. <ríe> okay, no, al ver la complejidad de la respuesta, entonces dijo, o oh, oh, mejor me voy. No, hay que bueno. internet connection. Ah, ok. Entonces sería... <ríe> entonces sería... Fíjate. Turn left, yeah. turn, turn left. left. Um, turn left. The second, third second street. Okay. Number three. Okay. Okay, number three. Ya la this is, how do you get it? <laughs> how do you get it to be in Bryan Park from Rockefeller Centers? Go down Sixth Avenue. Entonces vamos a poner. No, no, don't go, ¿verdad? No, no don't go uh -huh. down Sixth Avenue. ¿Están de acuerdo? Yes. yes. Ok, entonces dice, no, no, don't, don't, no, don't get, don't, don't go down. No, down. don't go. No, don't uh -huh. go down Sixth Six. Avenue. Uh -huh. Six, sixth. Go up Sixth up. Avenue. Uh -huh.
está real hecho. Ahí está como hacer. Ahí en el ejercicio. Pero, uno, pero uno que en, la, en la respuesta del 2 sería no, no, don. Ajá, no, no, don, 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 right on 32 street. Eh, turn left on 32 street. Teacher, ¿cómo le dice 32? Ok, 30 second. 30 second. Okay. That's ok. Second. Okay. Turn left on 32 street. <coughs> Number three. Uh, don't, no, don't, go down. don't go down Sixth okay. Avenue. Go up. Oh, go up Sixth Avenue. Sí, es. No, don't, don't go. No, don't go down Sixth Avenue. Um, go, go up Sixth Avenue. It's on the, on the... Across, across from Morrison Square. Okay. Okay, Cruzando la, la Plaza Morazán. Mm -hmm. sí, sería, ahí sería uh, eh, on, the, on the left. On the left. It's on the left. At my left, ok. Ajá, a la izquierda. If, de la Plaza Morazán. If I, I, am, I stay in the Teatro Nacional. How do I get cathedral or cathedral mm -hmm. in English? Mm -hmm. oh. National Theater, Morrison Square. So, yeah, um, How do I get cathedral? Mm -hmm. Across the street. Yeah. Next to the Giselle. Mm -hmm. A la, a, a la parte de Giselle. Mm -hmm. In front of. Park. ¿Cuál es el park? Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Great. Great job. Okay, so it's time to come back. Okay, we're going to check the examples right now. Okay, time to come back so we can check the answers. Okay, did you have time to finish? Yes or no? Yes. yes, yes. Very good. Yes, finish. You finished. Very good. So, how did finish. you feel this exercise? Was it easy or difficult? Easy. Easy, really. Okay. Yes. So, let's check the answers. Veamos. It was easy. easy. As I mentioned before, you can find this exercise uh, almost at the end of your book. This is in the student's book as well. And it is very helpful if you want to practice and to have some other type of exercise. Okay, we are going to correct Jenna. How do I get, take a look at the example, how do I get to Washington Square Park. Walk up Fifth Avenue. Okay, now we're going to correct. No, 
Don't walk up Fifth Avenue. Walk down Fifth Avenue. Let me ask. Okay, Ali Lee. Then I'm going to have Pablo. Then I am going to have Karina. Then I am going to ask Nelson to help me. And at the end, let me see, Aníbal. Let's go in that order. Vamos con ese orden, okay? Here we go. I want to listen to you guys. Go, please. How come I get I get it to the Empire State Building? The right on 32nd Street. Okay, correction. No. No. Don't write on 32nd Street. A door left on 32nd Street. One more time. Can you repeat that, please? No. No. Don't write. Turn right. Um, thirty second. Vaya, ocupemos esa expresión. No. No. Don't. Aquí negamos. Don't. Turn. Right. right. Y lo que sigue, ¿verdad? On thirty second. On thirty second. On thirty second. Solo esta voy a escribir, ¿ok? Para que yes. veamos la expresión okay, de que don't. Exactly. So, don't turn right on 32nd Street. So, what is the correction? Turn. Yes. The left. On. Left. Very good. Turn left on 32nd Street. Excellent. Next one. Siguiente. Next conversation. Number three. Who did I ask to help me? No sé si yo soy... Yes, Nelson. Es que tengo las camaritas oh. en orden. Yes, sí. Nelson. Sí. Okay. Yeah. Number, number three. Please. Carl. Yes. Uh -huh. Carl, say. Um, how do I get to Bryan Park from Rockefeller Center? Uh, Jenna says, uh, go down 6th Avenue. Okay, correction, please. Correction is um, no. Uh, don't go down Sixth, Sixth Avenue. Uh, go. Uh -huh. Go, go, go up Sixth Very Avenue. Good job. So, no, don't, uh -huh. no. don't go down. Go, go down. Sixth Avenue. Avenue. And the correct is go, go up. up. Very go good up. job. Go up Sixth Avenue. Excellent. Next one. Finish with the idea. Uh, I guess it was Karina, right? Yes. Go, oh, please, Karina. Diana, it's on the left. Mm -hmm. The correction. And no, don't. It's on the left. Mm -hmm. And um, it's on the right. Okay, so no. Don't. It's. ¿Cómo negamos entonces esto? It, it is. No, it isn't. It isn't. It isn't, o podemos decir it is not. It's not. On the left. And then we have the correction. It's on the right. Excellent job. Right. Excellent. Please, the last one. Me. Yes, Pablo. 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 Yes. yes. Okay. How... How do I get to oh, no. Central Park? Mm -hmm. Walk down A Avenue. Uh, no. 
don't walk down Eighth Avenue. Okay, great. Go Elvis. Okay. Okay, Elvis, try to finish the idea. Give me the correction. No, don't walk down Eighth Avenue. So. No, don't walk down Eighth Avenue. Walk up Eighth Avenue. Very good job, guys. Pablo and Elvis, great job. So we are going to write no. Don't walk. walk down. Don't walk down Eighth Avenue in the rest of the sentence. The correction is walk up, up. Eight Avenue, right? So questions about this exercise. How did you feel it? Come on, me. Tell me. I have a question. Very good. Yes, it's very good. Al principio un poco confuso, pero right, but at the end, oh, very good. Okay, let me know. No hicieron falta el, el don't. Verdad. Eso creo que era la corrección más que todo. El don't. El isn't. El okay. Don't. It's not. Very good. El isn't. So, también. Yes. Tell me what's doing that. Dígame, eh, Iris, Iris, I'm listening to you. I have a question about it's not me. second correction number three. <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, let's And the second correction on number three. Number I three. have a question. Bien, yes, and the second correction. Okay. Can I you... use can I use for deny and no no it doesn't in this case? In number three, the second part of yes. the correction. Yes. Okay, can if I you... use? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, no, don't go down Sixth Avenue. Okay, what is your correction? Let me listen to your idea, please. Okay, yeah. in, the, in this part, Jenna say it's on the left. So, can I deny with the form no, it doesn't? Mm. No, not really, no. No, it doesn't. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos, si se fijan el afirmativo, it's on the left. La expresión es it's on the left. Entonces no cabe en este caso el do. ¿Por qué? Porque no es una pregunta. Si estuviéramos utilizando el do en la expresión anterior, sí puede ser no, it doesn't. Pero como en este caso solo necesitamos agregarle un negativo a la expresión it's on the left, it's... sería solo not. Okay. No, it's not uh... on the left. O puede ser no, it isn't. Otra forma de ponerlo. No, it isn't. It's... Yeah, because this is a simple present tense. Teacher, presentation. pero yeah. para poner forma afirmativa sería it's on the right. Exactly. It's on the it's right. It's on the right. The yes. same expression, okay, but the we're answer. just going to change left instead right. of right. Very good job. Okay. Yeah. Excellent class. So you see, this is not difficult to use. Uh, these are expressions that we can combine with preposition of place as well. Podemos combinar toda esta información, preposition, and we can also use these expressions, right? So, last activity, last activity that we're going to do right now. Don't forget, you can go to the platform. There we have a listening exercise that is very similar to the one that we were practicing right now. So let me see. Aquí vamos. Giving directions. Look. Esto les quería mostrar. 
this one, the last chart. Aquí está toda la combinación. Miren, tenemos muchas más expresiones. Right here. Go up, go down. Walk up, walk down. Aquí está. But I need, okay, Fernando, can you help me to read? Read the information, please. Leamos todas las expresiones que tenemos. Miren, all of this one. But read this one, please, Fernando. It should be on. Go up, go down. Great. Walk up, walk down. Turn right, turn left. It's across from. Very good job. Let me have Saira. Can you continue, Saira? Eh, it is on the corner of the street and avenue is between and very good it's on the corner of first street second street or the name of the street okay and avenue in between and then we are going to mention two places the name of the buildings or the places very good josue please help me out to finish with the information it's next to it's behind it's in the front in front of very good so how many expressions do we have miren al final se nos hacen a lot of expressions that we can easily use to give directions. And we are still missing the prepositions here. Questions about this vocabulary. Questions about maybe pronunciation or the meaning of this vocabulary or is it clear? Is it clear? Yes, it's clear. Very yes, good. It's clear. Great. So let's go and check this one. The last two exercises. Please, if you haven't completed this exercise yet, this is just a listening exercise. What are you going to do? The same as the previous one. You are going to listen to a conversation and you're just going to identify the name of the places, right? First question, where can the woman get stamps? I guess that this is like a little bit easier. Even if you don't listen to the conversation, you are going to be able to identify. So where can you get the stamps? Drugstore, movie theater, or at the bank, okay? Just to give you an idea. What do they need? And then you have three options. Where is the gas station? Okay, you're just going to listen and identify. How can the woman get to a restroom? And that's it. So, let me ask you. ¿Cuántos ya completaron la sección número tres? Los ejercicios de la sección número tres en la plataforma. Let me listen to you. Preguntas sobre cualquier ejercicio. O los completamos ya todos. Let me ask you. Uh -huh. eh, ya lo hice, no? pero solo hasta el metro en el examen. Hasta el metro en el examen. En la 4.4 estoy. Que ahí se me bien, está acostando. Muy bien. Yo ya <risa> finalicé, <risa> teacher. Ok, Ay, you're done. Muy, Very good. Nos job. dijo aparte de ahí. No, si la leí <risa> la, 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 la primera semana hace todo. <risa> Leli, ¿qué trabaja usted? ¿Cómo trabaja usted, Leli? Sí, trabajo, pero ese es el beneficio del insomnio. Oh, ok. Ya le vamos a dar ah, algunas recomendaciones sí, por insomnio. So, yes. Eso también les quería decir. Section 3, muy bien. Ahí termina. But don't forget. Section 3, también tenemos el midterm exam. Dos secciones. Section 3 y midterm exam. So, you need to complete both the exercises from Finish. this unit and Finish. the same. Very good job. 
WH questions. No, este es el primero. A listening part. Then we have questions about future plans. Okay. Using going to. WH questions. In this exercise, you need to complete the conversation. After that, we have. On at in. Very good. You are going to do the same. You are just going to select Art. the word. Usando cualquiera de los tres verbos. Feel, get, or have. Uh, mm -hmm. hey, And hey, part number five. Push. What are you going to do? This is a reading example. Go, take some time, They read about the song. home remedies. Take a look at Aleli, insomnia, que está, eh? Can you sleep at night? Ahí está la recomendación. Yes, I write. <laughs> They mean okay. the same. A large sleep glass of I can sleep at night. So here is the recommendation. <laughs> Aquí está la recomendación. Drink a large glass of warm milk or take, a, take, very, a, very take a very good bath. <laughs> yes. So that is the recommendation. Thank I you. need to practice. Yes, right. En clase. Preguntas sobre okay, lo que you. hemos visto, uh, sección número 3 o incluso de las secciones anteriores. Yes or no? Yes. yes. I so, have a question. Tell me, Fernando. Eh, on, at, mm -hmm. in, yes. significan en. Pero en este caso eh, es uso exclusivo on. O podríamos meter in o at cuando hablamos de direcciones uh -huh. recordemos que cuando hablamos de direcciones cuando nos expresamos sobre una avenida o una calle ahí sí exclusivamente es on y on. las demás preposiciones por ejemplo at me estaba mencionando verdad at es sí. cuando hablamos de lugar en general por ejemplo, ahorita yo estoy at home en la casa, pero el cuarto, el lugar en específico, utilizamos in. At home, in the living room. Ok. okay. Lugar general es at. At the hospital. Ok. At the school. Podemos decir ese otro. At the school. In the classroom. El lugar grande, el lugar en general es at. Si somos específicos, usamos in. So, class. Algo que sí quiero que no olviden. Tuesday, we didn't have class. What does it mean? ¿Qué significa que mañana tenemos? Clase. Don't forget that Friday, only this week, we are going to have class. Oh Empezando la okay. sección número 4 mañana. We are going to start with section number 4 tomorrow. So I really hope to see you here tomorrow, okay? Yeah. Of the class, right? <laughs> okay. So if you don't have questions, we are going to stop the class here and see you tomorrow, okay? Have a great night, class. Okay. Good night. 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 Bye bye. Tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye. bye.